and a significant move to address the rising cost of living and provide essential support to vulnerable seniors. The Canadian government has announced a substantial financial assistance program delivering $1,500 checks to eligible low-income seniors. This initiative comes as part of the Enhanced Canada Pension Plan CPP and Old Age Security OAS Benefits Framework, demonstrating the government's commitment to protecting elderly citizens during challenging economic times. The newly implemented payment structure represents a coordinated effort to provide meaningful financial support to seniors who need it most. This $1,500 payment comes as a welcome relief for many elderly Canadians who have been struggling with inflation and increased living expenses. The payment is designed to supplement existing CPP and OIS benefits, creating a more robust safety net for the senior population. These payments are particularly significant because they target low-income seniors, who often face the most severe financial challenges. Unlike previous benefits, this new initiative provides a substantial lump sum amount that can make a real difference in recipients' lives, helping them cover essential expenses and maintain a decent standard of living. The government has established specific eligibility criteria to ensure these funds reach those most in need. Applicants must be 65 years or older and legal residents of Canada with a significant period of residency in the country. The residency requirements typically align with existing OS criteria, requiring at least 10 years of Canadian residency after age 18 for domestic residents. As these payments target low-income seniors, there are strict income thresholds that applicants must fall within. The government has carefully calculated these limits to ensure support reaches those facing genuine financial hardship while maintaining program sustainability. The recipients generally must be current beneficiaries of either CPP or OES, with priority given to those receiving the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs, which indicates lower income status. The Canada Pension Plan continues to serve as a cornerstone of retirement security for millions of Canadians. This new $1,500 payment program builds upon the existing CPP framework while addressing specific needs of low-income seniors. The standard CPP retirement pension is designed to replace about 25% of the earnings you contributed to the plan during your working years. The amount you receive depends on how much and for how long you contributed to the plan and at what age you began taking your pension. The recent enhancements to the CPP have been implemented to provide greater financial security in retirement. These improvements gradually increase the retirement pension replacement rate from one quarter to one third of eligible earnings. The $1,500 payment program has been carefully designed to complement existing CPP benefits without affecting regular pension amounts. This ensures seniors receive additional support while maintaining their standard benefits. The Old Age Security Program, as Canada's largest pension program, plays a vital role in this new initiative. The integration of the $1,500 payment with OS demonstrates the government's comprehensive approach to senior financial security. The basic OAS pension serves as the foundation of retirement income for most Canadian seniors, providing a basic monthly payment to eligible recipients regardless of their employment history. The GI's, an additional monthly benefit for low-income OAS recipients, continues to provide crucial support alongside this new payment program. The coordination between OAS, GI's, and the new $1,500 payment creates a more comprehensive support system for vulnerable seniors. The rollout of these $1,500 payments follows a carefully planned schedule to ensure efficient distribution while maintaining program integrity. The first wave of payments begins immediately, with direct deposits appearing in recipients' accounts starting today. Additional payment waves are scheduled to ensure all eligible seniors receive their funds in a timely manner. Recipients can receive their payments through direct deposit or physical check, depending on their preferred method of receiving current benefits. This systematic approach helps ensure that all qualified seniors receive their payments efficiently and securely. To maximize the benefit of this $1,500 payment, seniors should evaluate their most pressing financial needs and allocate funds accordingly. The payment should be incorporated into existing budget plans to ensure optimal use of resources. While addressing immediate needs is important, considering how this payment fits into longer-term financial planning can help maximize its impact. This strategic approach to utilizing the funds can help ensure that the financial relief provides both immediate assistance and contributes to long-term financial stability. For those who may be eligible but haven't automatically received notification, understanding the application process is essential. 
Applicants should prepare necessary documentation, including proof of age, residency status, and income verification. The application process has been streamlined to make it as accessible as possible while maintaining necessary verification procedures. Understanding typical processing times and what to expect after submission helps manage expectations and planning. The government has implemented various channels for application submission, including online portals and physical locations, to ensure accessibility for all seniors. Recipients should understand how this payment affects their overall financial situation. This includes understanding the tax implications and whether the payment is taxable. It's also important to know how the payment coordinates with other government benefits and whether it affects eligibility for other programs. Looking ahead, seniors should consider how this payment might affect future benefit calculations or eligibility. This forward-thinking approach helps ensure that accepting the payment aligns with their overall financial strategy. Additional support services are available to help seniors navigate this new benefit. Financial counseling services are accessible to help plan for optimal use of the payment. Community organizations offer assistance with application processes and general support services. These resources are designed to ensure that all eligible seniors can access and benefit from this important financial support program. The availability of these support services demonstrates the comprehensive approach taken to ensure the program's success. This $1,500 payment program represents part of a broader strategy for senior financial security. The initiative may evolve and change over time as needs and circumstances change. Other programs and support systems remain available to seniors, creating a network of financial assistance options. The government maintains a long-term vision for continued support of the elderly population, recognizing the ongoing need for financial assistance programs that adapt to changing economic conditions. With any new benefit program, awareness of potential scams is crucial. Seniors should be aware of common scam tactics that fraudsters might use to exploit this new program. Protection measures are in place to help seniors protect themselves from fraud, and clear reporting procedures exist for reporting suspicious activity related to these payments. This emphasis on security helps ensure that the intended recipients receive their benefits safely and securely. For seniors who believe they qualify for this payment, Verification of eligibility is an important first step. This includes double-checking qualification criteria and current benefit status. Gathering necessary paperwork and information in advance can help streamline the process. It's also important to ensure that government agencies have current contact and banking information to facilitate smooth payment processing. Modern technology plays a crucial role in this benefit program, with various digital tools and platforms available for managing benefits. Digital security measures are in place to protect personal and financial information, and accessibility features make digital services available to seniors with varying technical abilities. This technological integration helps modernize the delivery of benefits while maintaining security and accessibility. The introduction of these $1,500 checks represents a significant step forward in supporting low-income seniors across Canada. Through careful integration with existing CPP and OAS frameworks, this program provides crucial financial assistance while maintaining the integrity of established benefit systems. This comprehensive approach to senior financial security demonstrates a commitment to supporting elderly Canadians through challenging economic times. Understanding the program's details, eligibility requirements, and implementation process helps seniors better position themselves to receive and maximize the benefit of this important financial support. The program works best as part of a broader financial planning strategy that includes existing benefits and personal savings. The coordinated approach to benefit delivery ensures that this additional support complements rather than complicates existing financial assistance programs. The timing of this initiative is particularly relevant given the current economic climate and the increasing financial pressures faced by seniors. Rising costs for essential items such as food, housing, and healthcare have placed additional strain on fixed incomes, making this supplement particularly valuable for those struggling to make ends meet. The program's design recognizes these challenges and provides targeted assistance to those most affected by economic pressures. The implementation of this payment program also reflects a broader understanding of the diverse needs within the senior population. While some seniors have substantial retirement savings and pension income, others rely heavily on government benefits to meet basic needs. This targeted approach helps address these disparities and provides additional support where it's most needed. 
The program's structure acknowledges that financial security in retirement requires a multifaceted approach that combines various forms of support. Looking ahead, the success of this program could influence future policy decisions regarding senior financial support. The careful monitoring of its implementation and impact will provide valuable insights for policymakers considering additional measures to support elderly Canadians. This data-driven approach to policy development helps ensure that future initiatives are well-designed and effectively meet the needs of their intended recipients. The $1,500 payment program represents a significant investment in the well-being of Canadian seniors, reflecting society's commitment to supporting its elderly population. Through careful planning, comprehensive support services, and integration with existing benefits, this initiative provides meaningful assistance to those who need it most. As the program continues to roll out, its impact on the financial security of low-income seniors will be closely monitored, potentially informing future developments in senior support programs. The importance of this financial relief program extends beyond the immediate monetary benefit, touching on broader aspects of senior well-being and social support. For many elderly Canadians, these funds represent not just financial assistance but also recognition of their ongoing contributions to society and the challenges they face in maintaining dignity and independence in their later years. The timing of these payments is particularly crucial as many seniors continue to navigate the complex landscape of post-pandemic economic recovery and persistent inflation. The distribution mechanism for these payments has been carefully designed to ensure accessibility while maintaining efficiency. Government agencies have worked to streamline the process, reducing bureaucratic barriers that might otherwise prevent eligible seniors from receiving their benefits. This includes implementing flexible verification procedures that recognize the diverse circumstances of elderly Canadians, particularly those who might have limited access to traditional documentation or face challenges in navigating administrative systems. For many recipients, this payment arrives at a critical time when healthcare costs continue to rise and the burden of maintaining a household on a fixed income becomes increasingly challenging. The funds can help cover essential expenses such as prescription medications not fully covered by provincial health plans, dental care, or necessary home modifications to accommodate changing physical needs. This practical application of the funds demonstrates how targeted financial support can directly impact quality of life for vulnerable seniors. The program's design also acknowledges the varying needs of urban and rural seniors. Those living in remote or rural areas often face additional challenges, including higher transportation costs and limited access to services. The flexibility of this payment allows recipients to address their specific circumstances, whether that means covering increased heating costs in northern communities or supporting transportation needs in areas with limited public transit options. Financial institutions across Canada have participated in ensuring smooth distribution of these funds, working closely with government agencies to facilitate direct deposits and provide accessible banking services for seniors receiving physical checks. Many banks have implemented special procedures to assist elderly customers in accessing these funds, recognizing that some seniors may require additional support in managing their accounts or depositing their payments. The ripple effects of this financial support extend into local economies, as seniors use these funds to purchase goods and services in their communities. This economic activity benefits local businesses while helping seniors maintain their standard of living. The multiplier effect of these payments demonstrates how targeted financial support for vulnerable populations can contribute to broader economic stability and community well-being. Healthcare providers have noted the potential positive impact of this financial support on senior health outcomes. Financial stress can significantly affect physical and mental health, particularly among elderly populations. By providing additional resources to cover basic needs and unexpected expenses, this payment program may help reduce stress-related health issues and enable seniors to better manage their ongoing health care needs. The implementation of this program has also sparked important discussions about the future of senior support systems in Canada. As demographics continue to shift toward an aging population, the need for robust and adaptable financial support mechanisms becomes increasingly crucial. This payment program serves as a model for how targeted interventions can complement existing pension and benefit systems to address emerging needs and challenges. Social workers and elder care advocates have emphasized the importance of financial security in maintaining independence and dignity for seniors. 
The availability of these funds can help prevent situations where elderly individuals might otherwise need to choose between essential needs like food, medication, or housing maintenance. This support helps preserve the autonomy of seniors while reducing the likelihood of crisis situations that might require more intensive intervention. The program's implementation has also highlighted the importance of digital literacy and accessibility in modern benefit distribution systems. While maintaining traditional payment methods for those who prefer them, the digital aspects of this program have encouraged many seniors to become more comfortable with online banking and electronic payment systems. This increased digital engagement can have lasting benefits, making it easier for seniors to manage their finances and access other government services in the future. Family caregivers have welcomed this initiative as it provides additional resources to support their elderly relatives. The funds can help offset some of the costs associated with caregiving, whether through direct expenses or by providing seniors with more resources to manage their own care needs. This support indirectly benefits the broader family network that often plays a crucial role in supporting elderly relatives. The success of this payment program may influence future policy decisions regarding senior support at both federal and provincial levels. As policymakers evaluate the impact of this initiative, lessons learned could inform the development of more comprehensive and sustainable approaches to ensuring financial security for aging populations. This includes considering how various support programs can work together more effectively to create a more robust safety net for vulnerable seniors. Communities across Canada have mobilized to ensure that eligible seniors are aware of this payment program and can access the support they need to receive their benefits. Local senior centers, community organizations, and volunteer groups have played vital roles in spreading awareness and providing assistance with applications and documentation. This grassroots support network demonstrates the collaborative approach needed to ensure the success of such initiatives.